I've been playing uh, ukulele and uh, for a group called Waihi for like the last 20 years or so. I would have these coughing fits and every once in a while, when I cough really hard, my arm would go numb and it would just fall, maybe for like 10, 15 minutes. And one day as I was driving to work, my vision went blind with my arm going numb and I had to pull over on the side of the road for a while. The next day, I, I called in sick and I called the doctor and they did an x-ray and found some kind of growth in my chest. And then from that day on, it was just like a whirlwind. They had discovered that he had a mass in his chest area. Uh, so he underwent further workup and was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was actually really scared. As far as being a father, I was worried enough I'd be around to see them grow up. We were just like hoping for the best. We never thought of any negative. That's a always be positive. Stay on the positive side. <laughs> The treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma is multiple different chemotherapy agents. They're given for a total of four to six months, depending on the response. Some of the symptoms that you get, you just get tired, you know, you can, you can walk so far and you're already like breathing hard and you just feel like you're sick all the time. On top of having uh, been diagnosed and going through chemo treatment, I was going through a separation with my, my wife at the time. I always worried about how I'd get through, but um, the nurses and Dr. Liu and our staff not only helped me through you know, the treatment, but they also helped me emotionally. Now he has cancer, he's going through chemo, and he has no family support. I think a lot of us really stepped in and tried to do our part and do whatever we could for him. It was important for Bruce to know that he had somebody he could talk to about his family and realize that, you know, he had love and caring here and he could tell us what he needed to. I know that they're not there just because it's a job. You know, they're there because they really care about people themselves and not just their physical well-being. But they know that mentally, if they can help them build a relationship with their patients, I can say that you get better faster. It's really interesting how you develop a relationship with some people you just click. And he did that with almost every member of the staff. Everybody just kind of wanted to be the, the person that took care of him for the day because you'd go in there and he'd be strumming on his ukulele. I'd bring my ukulele to play music. Um, so, you know, it kind of helped me get my mind off of some of the things that was going on in my life. But eventually I would take requests. <laughs> Ask you to do a song or not, and I was like, of course, you know. He made it sort of like he was part of the treatment too for other people. His band had come in, a, you know, a couple of times. We had three guitars, had my ukulele, and we just sang for about an hour or two. It's all because I, I wanted to show them how thankful I was for them taking care of me. Bruce had a very good outcome. He had a very good response to treatment. And with Bruce, he had a PET scan and there was no evidence of cancer. So Bruce was in remission with all of the treatment that he got. To be in remission, I was just like, I'm glad that was over. I could get back to see my girls more every day. I just remember trying to get the port out as quick as possible so I could get back in the water. Because that was the things that was the hardest for me through treatment, is not being able to go surf. It's, it's such a happy feeling, just knowing that we've helped him, you know. While you're going through chemo, it's a really dark time, but just seeing that transformation and how you help them survive through it, live through it, and starting your whole life again, you can't put it in words. It really makes a difference, too, for patients to know that they can manage the overall care, not just one little segment. And when I sit down and think about it, I feel like I was part of the Straub family, too. I'm more thankful than they know for what they've done. I'm glad I went to Straub. Glad I went there.